The electric vehicle market in China has experienced exceptional growth, shattering convention and reshaping the EV market globally. It has transformed from being a net importer of autos to a net exporter, a startling change. China is shaking up the global economy and transforming the EV market. Come along as we study the fascinating history of China's ascent and the revolutionary impact of its electric automobiles. Get ready for an exciting tour that reveals the full scope of China's influence on the EV sector. Before we get started, if you want to support the expansion of our channel and the delivery of even more engaging material to you, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. Let's get started now. Recent data on the automotive sector from the brand new statistical agency Eurostat showed that an astounding 50% of all imports of electric vehicles into Europe can be linked to China's diligent factories. To put this in perspective, China alone provided 500,000 cutting-edge automobiles in a market where 9 million cars were sold in 2022 and EVs had a 12% share. Further analysis reveals that roughly half of these cars were Chinese-made Teslas, with the remainder predominantly being other Chinese brands. Trade between Europe and China has significantly changed as a result of this trend. Chinese consumers are increasingly a big market for European automakers' goods. Even though they had long-standing joint ventures in China that make affordable and mid-range cars, the majority of the vehicles they exported were luxury vehicles. Previously, the trade balance was $3 to $5 billion in favor of Europe. The equilibrium has changed over the last two years, with a significant acceleration taking place in the last 12 months. Although Europe still has an advantage, the difference has decreased by about $2 billion, and electric vehicles are mostly to blame for this change. There is no denying China's ascent, and numerous academics have cautioned against its effects. Data on commerce reveal an obvious increase. Brad Setzer of The Economist recently tweeted statistics showing an increase in China's overall automotive exports year over year. Significant consequences and ramifications result from this transformation, notably in terms of heightened trade tensions. These most recent discoveries considerably increase the possibility that the European Union may get involved in the ongoing trade war between the United States and China, which has been going on for a while. What motivated China, a global leader in the production of conventional automobiles, to take the risky step into the world of electric vehicles? Early in the new millennium, China discovered that it lacked domestic brands that could compete with the multinational corporations that dominated the market. China realized it needed to pave a new course in light of the heritage automakers from the United States, Germany, and Japan's unwavering dominance. Others had already embraced hybrid vehicles, but the Chinese government made a crucial choice to forego well-trodden ground and focus on new horizons, battery-powered vehicles. At the time, creating electric vehicles was merely a niche experiment carried out by companies like General Motors or Toyota, both of which typically quit doing so after only a few years. But the potential rewards were huge, providing advantages for China in terms of a sizable chunk of the automobile industry. Countries that had already developed viable gas or hybrid vehicles had less incentive to study and build new types of vehicles. For instance, Japan, which was already at the top of the hybrid market, did not see the need of electrifying the auto sector. Additionally, electric vehicles provide China with the chance to find solutions to a number of critical problems, such as lowering the country's acute oil dependence and helping the country's economy recover from the 2008 global financial crisis. It appeared that Beijing would benefit from the scenario. China already possessed favorable structural conditions. Even if the manufacturing of electric vehicles required different technology, China had a top-notch auto supply chain that could be used. The nation's gas-powered auto companies' production capabilities and their access to low-cost materials might be diverted to help the developing electric vehicle sector. The Chinese government started making investments in related technologies as early as 2001, designating electric vehicle technology as a major area for scientific study in China's five-year plan. When Wang Gang, an auto engineer who had previously spent 10 years working for Audi in Germany, was appointed China's Minister of Research and Technology in 2007, the sector experienced a considerable uptick. Wang, a fervent proponent of electric vehicles, drove the Roadster, Tesla's first EV model, the same year it was made accessible to the general public. 
many people give him credit for inspiring the country to focus on the development of electric automobiles. Since that time, China's economic planning has made the development of EVs a primary priority. Let's now examine the current state of the EV market in China. Due to government initiatives, China currently has a huge domestic market for electric vehicles. According to a survey by the American consulting firm Alex Partners, more than 50% of Chinese respondents plan to buy a battery electric car as their next vehicle in the next few years. This percentage is double the global average and the highest in the entire world. Chinese consumers can choose from a variety of products built in China, including those produced by BYD, NIO, Xpeng, Li Auto, and other companies. Some Chinese businesses' marketing strategies have included elements of nationalism, which has helped them succeed. Can other countries duplicate China's achievements? Many nations are envious of China's success with electric automobiles. It might be difficult for them to succeed to the same extent even if they adhere strictly to China's plan. The political systems of the United States and Europe are completely dissimilar. Despite the fact that both have the technological capacity and established supply chains needed to propel their respective electric vehicle industries. It's not that they can't duplicate it, it's just that China has a lot of expertise using these technologies and has done so for a very long time. Some Chinese businesses have already joined the European market, and some are even considering doing so, despite the crowded US market and the unsteady political environment. To be successful in varied markets, they must modify their marketing language and techniques. To adhere to various technical standards and software services that are appreciated in various locations, they will need to change their business methods. However, given the current state of world politics, these companies are in a risky situation when they expand operations into other countries that do not have very good relations with China. Some nations could want to defend their native auto industries, while others would perceive the entry of Chinese brands as a danger to their security. The most major benefit, when compared to vehicles made in the United States, would be affordability, which Chinese automakers would experience if they were to sell their vehicles here. Not all purchases are influenced by a person's loyalty to their nation. Price is ultimately the most crucial aspect in influencing consumer choice. Automobile makers from Japan, Korea, and Europe have already had significant success in the United States, with Toyota set to overtake all other brands in 2021 sales. However, politics continues to be the biggest barrier. China may not be allowed to outperform American manufacturers in their own backyard by the United States. Please feel free to remark on China's dominance of the electric vehicle EV, market. We value your opinions greatly. Thank you for your support and appreciate you viewing. Watch this space for our upcoming video and until then, be careful.